Hello and welcome to Infinity. This eye, the white of the eye of the sclera, has got a fair amount of damage in it, discoloration and veins that you can see. So we're going to get rid of this using a fairly novel method, which is through frequency separation. And in particular, using different blur types. So I go to, well, first of all, let's do Control J to do a duplicate layer. So we've got the original there. But anyway, so next we're going to do a filters frequency separation. And initially we're going to use the median filter or the type of blur on it so that when we turn this up, the blood vessels disappear and they appear over here. I'm going to turn this back down again to the point where the blood vessels are starting to change. See, there they are. See, they've disappeared from over here. So I move it up until I've just got that covered. I'm not too worried about some areas over here. I can still see some stuff creeping through, but it's the, the hard edges you want to get rid of. So I apply to that. So now we've got a high frequency and low frequency layer. If I turn off the other layers there, on this layer you can see the blood vessels and this is actually the whole thing is mostly grey so I can get rid of those by painting grey on them. So if I bring back the other layer there, go to the paintbrush and the way to get grey is to go to the swatches tab and there's grey there, the mid grey in the middle there. And now then I'm going to got the high frequency layer selected with my brush and when I paint on here it's a pasty 100% medium soft brush there is I'm painting away all that those blood vessels are most of them so the hard edges are disappearing just a bit of discoloration which we're going to affect afterwards and also notice where there's damage here which has got a hard edge that can be painted away as well so we can just paint on here Just get rid of those hardness. Necessarily change the size of the brush a bit to get into some other areas. Oh, there we go. That'll do for the first one. Now what we're going to do is to do this again. So we'll turn off the top layer so we can see this here. And we're going to blur these bits here. So we're going to again go to filters, frequency separation, and to just smooth things over, the way to do that is with the Gaussian blur. So I'll just leave it on Gaussian Blur there. Turn this up now until we get a smoother blur across the eye here. So we've smoothed out the lumpiness of that. And so the lumpiness is pushed over onto this side. So, but notice as we do this here, we're getting some edge effect here. Maybe we don't want too much of that. So I'm going to turn it back down again, so that edge here is minimal. So we'll try that. So we'll apply there. Take our grey brush and paint over the edge of this. So there we've got that smoothed out again. Put the back top layer back on again so we can see it properly. And we're going to do the same over here. However, it's not fully done there, so let's do another one. So I'll go to the low frequency layer, filters, frequency separation, Gaussian blur, turn this up again. Okay, you can see it starts to, you start to get this, this white edge of the point, but you can go a bit further. By doing multiple layers, it adds more to the smoothness of it without getting those that kind of halo at the edge. So I'll apply that. And now I can paint more into these areas here and get rid of more of that blotchiness over here. There we go. So there we go. That's, that's an effect. If we turn that back out there, you can see that is a lot smoother. If you want to retain a little bit of texture in it, uh, select a lot of those, Control G for group, 
turn on the layer underneath and for the group we're just going to do a little bit of opacity change here so we're just going to turn the opacity down a little bit and as you do that the original starts to come through so we'll turn it down a little bit so we've got a little bit of that texture the original thing coming through but just slightly it makes it look a little bit more realistic let's go back out again there there you see that from there anyway that's it hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching